My name is Andy Bruce and I'm a grad student at the University of Wisconsin, La Crosse. My background is in environmental studies and I became hooked on the study of fungi when I began to realize exactly how much potential there is to partner with fungi to clean up some of our most devastating environmental blunders. Check this out. Hundreds of gallons of crude oil spilled after yesterday's derailment in Watertown. Crude oil burning after 11 tankers derail near Mosier. More than a dozen tanker cars filled with crude oil tossed around like toys. It's the eighth oil train derailment just this year. You know, we're within a very close proximity of residences here. With U.S. oil production now booming, there is growing fears that this could happen far more often. Most of us associate oil spills with the ocean. But increased transportation of crude oil by railway has led to a higher frequency of terrestrial oil spills in the U.S. Petroleum products are made of hydrocarbons, many of which can cause cancer or other mutations to both humans and animals. Fungi have been nature's recyclers for over one and a half billion years, and people are beginning to figure out how to work with them to clean up toxic pollution in a process called mycoremediation. My aim is to develop a new approach to mycoremediation using a combination of two categories of wood decay fungi. Wood is primarily made of lignin and cellulose. White rot fungi break down the lignin molecules in wood, leaving the white cellulose behind. Whereas brown rot fungi break down the cellulose, leaving the brown lignin behind. And they go after different fractions of wood because they produce different types of digestive enzymes. And previous studies have found that species of both white and brown rot fungi are able to break down those petroleum hydrocarbons using their different pathways. So we hypothesize that white and brown rot fungi can break down different fractions of petroleum hydrocarbons just as they do different fractions of wood. And this ability of brown and white rot fungi to work together to increase the efficiency of mycoremediation has never before been tested. These research questions are my questions. I personally designed this experiment. And even though the execution of this experiment is a full-time job, eight hour days at least, I'm not employed by anybody. As happy as I would be to do this work for free, I still have bills to pay. So the majority of the funds that you help us raise will provide me with a stipend that will allow me to be a full-time researcher. Without having to split my time between the lab and a second job, I can give this project my full attention. Thank you so much for helping to push the development of innovative, ecologically sound biotechnologies that really invest in the sustainability of life on Earth.